Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the ink is not even dry. The votes have not been tallied. We don't even know the seat makeup in the Senate or the House, but that has not stopped Biden from coming out and openly saying he's not going to change anything with his agenda. And by the way, since we're hovering around that topic, we're also going to ban assault weapons. We're going to go full tilt because clearly nothing terrible happened, so why not? Ch why change anything? That's what we're going to talk about on this, on this episode. We are going to dive into this. I'm going to show you the two clips, and I'm going to show you the Achilles heel because this right here, this arrogance, this pompous nature, this is erroneous, and it's going to come back and bite them. Everything is linked in the description box below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Established Titles, and then we're going to dive into it on the other side. The Established Title Packs give you one square foot of dedicated land in an estate in Eddleston, Scotland, along with a certified crest like you see right here. This is based on a historic Scottish custom, which will allow landowners to become lords or ladies, and if you act now, you can be in the LOA little plot so we can have our own little fiefdom. This is a fun and novel way to preserve the woodlands of Scotland. They work with global charities, One Tree Planted, and Trees for Our Future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your plane tickets and also on your credit cards. This makes a great last minute gift and they have couple packs which you can get adjoining plots of land together. In order to give the ultimate conversation piece for that special someone, Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Langley, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Langley to support the channel now. All right, my brothers and sisters, before we dive in, if you happen to be at the USCCA Expo coming up this weekend in Fort Worth, Texas, make sure you come by and say hi. I'll be the guy behind the set with the cameras making live videos on the floor. It's going to be a great time, and I hope to see you there. But as I mentioned in the intro, we have got to dive into to Biden. He's now coming out and saying nothing's going to change. He's going to say that we're still going after the assault weapons ban. We're going to get it. We're going to try like the devil, even though they are projected to lose the house. This is a lot of stuff, lots of nuance, lots of details. I'm going to show you what he's doing, and we've got so much stuff going forward. So please, if you want to stay in the fight, subscribe so you can keep be kept up to date. But let's get it. Here's the first clip from President Biden. And in fact, 75% of voters say the country is heading into the wrong direction despite the results of last night. What in the next two years do you intend to do differently uh, to change people's uh, opinion of the direction of the country, particularly as you contemplate a run for president in 2024? Nothing, because they're just finding out what we're doing. Okay, so the, the reporter, to the reporter's credit, even said, um, just, you know, you're going to go for president in like two years. The right track, wrong track says 75% of the, Amer the American people say it's going in the wrong direction. That spans all demographics, all political spectrums. Uh, what are you going to do differently? Nothing. They clearly love me. After all, we didn't get slaughtered in a red wave. We just lost the House. That's better than any president has done in first term in the past 40 years. So clearly, nothing's wrong because you haven't even found out how amazing all my spending is. Hashtag inflation. Now, that's the first thing that we're going to dive into. This next part is where Biden has to go back to his obsession with an assault weapons ban. Keep in mind, they are projected to lose the House. He even goes into that in this little speech in the, and the, um, in the White House after the midterms around, well, I'm going to have to work with Leader McCarthy. He's openly laying the groundwork to say the Republicans are going to stop this in the House, potentially. Now, granted... I mean, I guess Republican small minority in the House is, or majority in the House is better than the Democratic majority in the House and the Senate, but it's kind of like pick your poison. But here's the second clip. Oh, man, this part right here is where he openly just doubles down. Why not? Let's get it. So I'm not going to change. As a matter of fact, you know, there's some things I want to change and add to. For example, we had passed the most bipartisan. We passed the most extensive gun legislation, anti, you know, rational gun policy in 30 years and but we didn't ban assault weapons i'm going to ban assault weapons they're going to try like the devil all right so there's a there's so much there to break down okay first thing the 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 anti-common sense gun legislation well yeah you nailed that that there is no anti-logical gun con, gun control there the second thing here is he's going to ban assault weapons and the next statement that comes out of his mouth is we're going to try like the devil you can't go we're going to do it and then we're sure going to try, again, alluding to the fact that the Republicans are going to control the House. 
Now, as we break down and keep going forward in this road, the midterms are now in the rearview mirror. We are still looking at the voting majorities, minorities. We're starting to figure that stuff out. We're going to find out if we have 51, 49 Republican or Democrat in the Senate. There's lots of stuff to break down. You still got the filibuster. You have the House deciding what's going to be brought up for vote, what's not. There are tons of things here. And the government is about to be very interesting to watch, particularly for our gun rights. But at least you know at the top, Biden, nothing's going to change, so we can expect more of the same. And he's going to go after the assault weapons ban. He's going to try like the devil. And you know that on this channel, we will be watching every single day, doing two a day, and we will be fighting for our rights to pass on the next generation. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.